Hey everybody, Tyler here, Boulevard Home. We've got the age-old question about dishwashers. This is a very common occurrence and issue that many of you have, and that is, my dishwasher is not draining. What do I need to do? Do I have to call a service technician? What we're here today to tell you is, make sure before you call that service te technician, you check these three things first, and it might save you a few bucks. Many times when your dishwasher is not draining, there's some type of blockage inside that draining system. But you first wanna make sure that pump is working. If the pump is not working, then you may have to call that service technician. The best way to know if your pump is working is you run that cycle if you can listen and hear the pump trying to pump the water out, you know it's not the pump and it's probably something else inside the drainage system that's causing the dishwasher not to drain. So tip number one is we gotta get inside the dishwasher. So as you look inside the dishwasher, you go to the bottom and you need to remove the wash arm. So there's usually you just twist it, pop it off. And then if you haven't done this, this could be a major, major reason your dishwasher is not draining, is you want to check the filter. So in this specific model, um, you want to turn the filter and pull it out. If this is grimy and, and lots of gunk and stuff on it, you need to clean it out. You can rinse it out in the sink, you can grab a toothbrush, scrape it, do those types of things. What I forgot to mention was when you open the dishwasher, if your dishwasher is not draining, there's probably a puddle of water here in the bottom of your dishwasher. You need to first remove that water that may be used with a cup, you know, just cup the water out. You can use a shop vac to, to vacuum out that water. So get that water out first and then open up and check the filter. And once you get the filter out, you can look inside the filter and in this specific model, there's a little hole that the water gets pumped into. You can check that hole, make sure nothing's clogging that hole, make sure anything in there that may be blocking it is, is removed. And that may have been the issue of why your dishwasher is not draining. So that's step number one. So if your filter was not the reason for the clogged dishwasher, you want to put it back just the way you put it in. Attach the wash arm again. Super easy. And now what you want to do is go to your sink. Underneath your sink, if you have a garbage disposal under your sink, that's what we want to check second. If you just had a brand new garbage disposal put in, many times that could be the reason your dishwasher is not draining is because whoever installed the garbage disposal, they forgot to undo the plug that leads from the hose to the dishwasher. The third thing you need to check before you call that service technician is, is there a clog inside that drain hose? So a drain hose will look something like this. It's, you know, it's connected to the back of your dishwasher. It's usually ran underneath your cabinets or through your cabinets to the underside of your sink and many times connected to that garbage disposal or directly into the water line. So as you look at the hose to make sure there's no clogs, you pull off the end, look into it, make sure nothing's clogged there. If you want to and feel like you're handy enough, you can pull the dishwasher out, you unhook it. Um, it's usually hooked to your cabinet either on the underside at the top or the sides. You pull the dishwasher out and then there's a connection in the back where this, the other end of this hose connects into the dishwasher. If you feel like that's something you can do, you can do that and check to make sure there's no clogs on that side of the hose as well. The final tip to make sure that water is not running from your sink back into your dishwasher, because many times that is that can be the case. You've, you've had something back up inside your sink to where it's overflowed and then water's ran back through your the hose back into the dishwasher. You open your dishwasher up, there's standing water. It may be just the case that you had a backup on your sink. The way to resolve that is as you run your hose underneath your sink, you want to make sure as it connects to your garbage disposal that some portion of the hose is higher than the connection on your garbage disposal and then comes back down. That will make it so that anytime water overruns the sink and goes into the garbage disposal that if water runs back into the tube, it won't be able to go up and back into your dishwasher because Gravity will keep it into the sink. Thanks everybody watching today. Hopefully these tips we've shared have helped you resolve the issue with your dishwasher not draining. If you haven't felt comfortable doing these steps, feel free to call a technician. They're the experts in plumbing and all things technical on dishwashers. Thank you again for watching our videos. Please subscribe, ring that bell for notifications for other great tips on appliances and furniture and great things for your home.